Hello, DJ Shizzle back on, and I'm going to show you how to make motion twins. So let's get to it. No fireworks. I already have Sonic Shield from last time. This is like an exact after video. You know, after what is going on here? What is going on? Okay, after my um computer was rudely froze, I'm just gonna choose something simple. I don't want any complicated, hard, um, working, running stance. You don't need something like that. All you need is something that's basic. I think I'll choose this one because the other one where you see um him trying to act like shadow skating that is way too much time i only use that in serious stuff so i'm gonna edit copy and go to flash i right click paste if you saw my other video the first one um it should have something like this. So just double click the folder symbol, click the symbol symbol, and it's ironic. CTRL and plus, you don't have to press shift, like I said at other time. Go to this layer, right click, delete, rename this. So running. Done. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna trace them again and you're gonna modify a uh, bit trace bitmap and you should have the same settings as last time color there hold one minimum area one pixel curve fit pixels corner there's hold many corners now it should do that now you remember last time just click right click on the background because remember it's still there it's like a paste and then you just press the lead so you do that so you do that to the other okay after getting all the edits you remember last time click on the next keyframe count how many poses you have i have four obviously and then minus one which is three and press f7 three times one two three now what you want to do you want to highlight the rest of the others highlight the rest of the others i'm using my laptop just tell me um right click copy delete the next frame right click paste onion skin make sure you always put onion skin it's basically the same level and that's then you go to the next one and so on and so now press enter on your keyboard to see um <coughs> <coughs> trying to keep <coughs> a voice loop. All right, now you're gonna press enter on the keyboard and see the alignment. As you can see, the alignment is like perfect. So we're gonna press the blue arrow. Then to prevent from what happened in the first video, just right click this. Let's cut, and then it's gonna stay there. Just click this. You're gonna wanna drag it right into the middle. Then you're gonna go here, next keyframe, and double click it and extend it by four front by four frames. Now we're gonna learn about motion tweens. When we want when we want him to run, we want him to run all the way over there without having to put him in front of that and that and that and so on and so forth. You don't wanna do that, all that works too much. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna double click this and you're gonna extend it um two times the amount. So three times the amount. So four two or three times the amount, depending on how much you want. I'm gonna do two times two times the amount. And look what's gonna happen. It's gonna be four more, which is eight. Just drag it here, go right here, insert frame. It's perfect. I'm gonna go right here, you don't need that. Don't follow what I just do. Anyways, now we got the whole thing frame set. You're gonna go to the last frame, right click it, and press insert keyframe. Now, this should happen. You're gonna see like 
two, one with the dot, another with the dot, one with the square. What you're gonna do? You're gonna go to the first, first one, and right click it, and press create the motion tween. So now that you press create a motion tween, you're gonna go here, and then you're gonna extend it. So you're gonna keep on going as far as you want. Keep on going. Keep on pushing. And keep on going. Extendo, extendo, extendo. Until how far? So now that we created our motion tween, press enter on your keyboard and you see what happens. He's going pretty fast, isn't he? Really fast. A little too fast. But we're gonna learn about slow motion in another episode. But for now, this is how we want to keep it. Okay? That's how we want to keep it. And now that we have it like that, it's a motion tween. I'm gonna press CTRL and enter. And look what happens. Alright, alright. And that's how you create a motion tween and a running motion. DJ Sizzle. Peace out.